everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome into some more MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries where today was the release day of the new DLC, Dragon's Gambit. So I've got all of them installed, there is the new one, Dragon's Gambit. We get all new campaign, 15 missions, um, spanning, yeah, 15 missions, fighting alongside the 5th. Have Fijian Light Assault Group, the 4th Arcab Legion, the 14th Legion of Vega. Uh, earn unique rewards. Hunt down and discover the valuable high tier weapon caches in each campaign mission. I'm thinking that's probably only for these missions, these 15, but that would be good if they added something in every single mission, campaign mission throughout all of the DLCs and the original story. And then you get the new longbow chassis, chassis, including, there's five variants, including the hero Hailstorm Meg. I just remind, wants me to put Hailstorm, the band on. If anyone has ever heard them, they're good. They're poppy, but they're good. And then Otomo, introducing the ultimate military units compromised. I'm going to lead force possessing the finest mechs of the Draconis combined has to offer. Within their custom paint jobs and awesome power, the Red Guard is a thrilling addition to the Dragon's Gambit DLC. Unlock these six special variants as special campaign rewards. There you go. So that's what we got. And if for those interested then want to pick up MacWarrior 5 at the moment, it is on 50% uh, off on Steam, the DLCs are around 30% off, if I remember correctly. Um, except for this DLC, the Dragon's Gambit, is full price. But it's actually reasonably priced at um, around 12 British pounds. I don't know what that translates to in other currencies around the world. But yeah, if you want to pick up MechWarrior 5, now is a good time to do it because it is on discount on Steam. Um, it will probably be on discount on Epic at some point in the future. Uh, just so I don't, you know, annoy one company to the other. Not that they probably care about a little streamer like me right now. Maybe one day I'll be a big streamer, but probably not. But anyway, let's get into this. Let's have some fun, and it's a new career we want to do. And I hope everyone enjoys the video. I hope everyone enjoys the stream, depending on if you're catching me live or later. If you do, remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and show some love for the channel. And let's see what love we get today. So we start with 6 million Z bills, which is, well, apart from the Kestrel Lancers, it's the most starting money. But I looked at this earlier, and the mechs we get from this is just amazing. We get a Marauder. Nice. Very good. We get a Jaeger Mech 6. Brilliant. I'd be fielding that. I'd be, I'd be piloting that if it wasn't for the fact that we didn't get a Centurion, a Hunchback. Yeah, okay. Then we get a Night Star, Double Gauss, ERPPC, Medium Pulse, Medium Pulse, Small Laser, the King Crab Quad Zero. We can start building our PPC monster um, already. The Victor 9B, again AC20, the Warhammer, Quick Draw, a Kintaro, a Blackjack 1DC, and then a Panther. There's, there's a lot of mechs there. There's a lot of metal. Let's start this up. Let's go with this. And you're about to start a new campaign. New career even. Open-ended. Yep. New career. Boom. In 2108, humanity began colonizing the stars. Their reach would eventually span a vast region of space known as the Inner Sphere. During its golden age, under the governance of the Star League, the Inner Sphere experienced unprecedented peace, prosperity, and technological advancement. But with a great rise comes a great fall. Beset by greed and mistrust, humanity splintered. The Star League crumpled. Technological advancement slowed. The great houses, each vying for supremacy, turned on one another engaging in a series of conflicts known as the Succession Wars. Amidst this chaos, mercenaries became the proxy forces for the Great Houses. Numerous battlefields sprung up across the Inner Sphere, dominated by hulking war machines known as Battle Mechs. The year is now 3015, 
and these steel behemoths have become the tools of the mercenary's trade. It's a lucrative time, yet one beset with perils of all kinds. Only the most skilled and brave among them will rise to become legend. I gotta leave that running for those that have never seen the intro before. It, it is good. It, it, it wasn't there the first time I played this. Or was it? No, sorry. That was there. It's the intro to the campaign that has changed over the years. I think that's been the same all throughout MechWarrior 5 history. But let's see where we start, how we start, and also, there was something that I did notice. Uh, one of the systems, one of the planets effectively, that is in MechWarrior 5 is also in Starfield. And I'm pretty sure Tal Seti is a actual planet, star system? It's not a solar system, is it? The, um, it's it's in real life as well. I, I'm pretty sure uh, the nearest planet, the nearest habitable planet that we know about in real life is the, um, send, I can't remember. I can't remember off the top of my head. I did know it, but I've forgotten it. Uh, are we going to be the Dragon Riders? Let's be the Wyvern Riders. Yeah, let's go with that. Wyvern Riders. And priority mission. Let's... Uh, six months remaining. Mm, okay. We got a... Ooh. Kestrel Lancers. Russell Hog League. Fixer Canteens now available. Uh, those in need. Conspirators will take these. Bow and arrow. What? What rank are we? Hang on a second. These are... So that's rank six. Project Cold Snap. Blood Minerals. So this starts us really late on. Ah, yeah, we're rank 8. Wow, there's a rare locust here. 1E. Broken, though. And, yep. We know how to do this. I've got 12. We've got a full company. Nice. Uh, let's also check the equipment. Let's see if there's anything good here worth picking up. An LBX solid. So that's an LBX, and that's an LBX solid. So that's cluster, that's not. I think that's how it goes. ER large laser short bursts. Medium laser short bursts. I don't think there's any new weapon systems, but these are all relatively low tier. No AMS, unfortunately. Nothing there, and... Okay, let's see what we can pick up. So... See if we're picking up some ammo, possibly. Got lots of jump jets, nice. LBX ammo, we're gonna pick up some of that. And a couple of half bins. Artemis ammo, let's pick up a little bit of that. Knock, knock, single heat sink. Got 26 single heat sinks, nice. And then an Ultra 5 ammo pick up a bit of that as well right let's uh, go to the star map let's see where we are rival mercs yeah so we're way up the top here Ooh. oh no though that is yeah great death legion i thought that was a new faction but no it's not and yeah we start here there's a cantina mission here and Campaign mission there. Those in need. Ah, that's yeah, that's from thing. High tier reward. 
mean there's not much point doing all that but what I will do is I'm gonna go up here before we do anything and we're going to get ourselves some cantina missions oh yes and the jump ship animation is back so every time we jump because we're not doing anything modded currently give it time there will be mods back in this uh, cantina, right. Uh, eight order cannon to tier zero. Accept. Uh, collect six LRM5 of Artemis, tier zero, and kill things. Are any of those here right now? No, we can't buy them. Fine. Mech market? No. Oh, and yeah, my pilots. Um higher pilots hmm. what are my pilot roster looking like 46 40 in the 40s so these guys are less less experienced so we might as well jump straight into this let's get into this and we'll leave those we'll probably not be able to do those as well because you know Duration 213 days, depart from Stanzac, let's go. Actually, let's read this. I am Precentor Marshal Anastasius Focht. You may, you have made a wise decision. Given Sharon Mori's powers of persuasion, I knew you would elect to opt in. She is adept at knowing when to wield a scalpel or a hammer to move pieces on the game board in the direction she desires. There is a lot of ground to cover, and time is an enemy we must contend with. The future of Draconis Combine will be decided in the coming months. Helping ensure it avoids oblivion will square the debts your units incurred following the death of Priest Center Yamata. I inherited his resolved issues this unresolved issue from my predecessor i have no wish to see you killed if you fulfill your contract i will happily wipe your slate clean of your debt but at a moment bef but not a moment before it is vital you do not speak of your pact with us to with anyone the co coordinator's disdain for mercering units is well known if your identity is revealed you will be in great danger. You will be killed by combined forces loyal to Takashi before I have a lift before I have to lift a finger to silence you. Now with those unpleasantries out of the way, your course has been set. You're to travel to Darien, military district, one of the prefecture capitals of the Draconis Combine. Once there, You'll be contacted by Tao Shu Michu Nokasanu, Darion's newly appointed warlord. He will be your primary handler for the duration of the contract. In order, in order to satisfy us, you need to satisfy him. Head to the Darion jump points. Good luck, Commander. Serve us well. Boom. Let's get into this. And how many days pass? Covered a lot of things there. I want to say this animation is new, but it's just, it's probably not new, it's just I haven't seen it for a long time. 213 days elapsed, wow. So, in theory, we could have done some missions and got some fights, but it's fine. That's why they give us the 6 million to start with, so we can jump around. Gone down a little bit, but hey, it's fine. Uh, right. Oh, yeah, it's just those. Well, we've got a cantina here. Let's see. Collect one locust. Kill three spiders and treasure hunting. We probably won't get the treasure hunting done, one done. I mean, there is some locusts. I could buy them, but I'm not going to. Ooh, LBX. No, I'm going to leave it for the moment. 
Just because we don't have a massive amount of money. Yeah, nothing different there. That's fine. And, yeah, none of the better than we got. So let's uh, jump into the mission. I am Tao Shu Michu Nokusani, Warlord of Darien Military District. I'm pleased Mori has contracted you to aid us in the cause. I know in doing so you face great risk courtesy of the short-sighted edict handed down to the coordinator. Thanks to the tremendous foresight of Gunji no Kanri, Theodore Kurita, his calculated move to allow Russell Hag its independence created a buffer state that would deny a full-scale full scale invasion by the Lyran Commonwealth. But in doing so, a great pressure has been placed upon Derian as it borders both halves of the Fed Com Alliance. There is no time to mince words. Davian will bring down the hammer on, upon Derian. This is ground zero for the on, yeah, oncoming storm with two star nations set to pour through our borders. We must halt the Davian thrust as much as we can. If we can buy time, there is a plan in place to push them into a war of attrition that could give us a ray of hope. I am folding you into the 5th Amphigian, Amphigian Light Assault Unit. Along with their General Kent Gerber, the Combine's very own Mercenary Security Group exempt from the death of Mercenaries Edict. Gerber is aware of the arrangements, pleased to have the extra manpower at his disposal. This is a trial run to see how well you fit in with this group. There is no time to spare. Davian forces have already hit our shores. We need to get you into the mech and onto the battlefield immediately. Boom, let's do it. Continue. And what? Uh, that plus one is from this. Yes. And obviously, we're going full salvage. Because of the heavy weather, your visibility will be compromised on this mission, let's Commander. Begin. Stay frosty. Let us get into this. This is the first of 15 missions. Commander, support the 5th Amphigian in oh. repelling these Davion raiders. You know what? I didn't get to choose my mechs, if I remember correctly. Good to have you on board, no, Commander. I didn't. Adding your type of firepower will help us drive these fed so what have we got? The Jaeger mech, the Centurion, the Hunchback, and then I've got so the Marauder. To the rally point and dig in. Be alert, Commander. I am tracking multiple enemy Lyran mechs on the axis of approach. Well, there's a city down there that we can snipe into. Oh, like I said, snipe. I see it stand in front of me. Getting used to the speed and everything again. Oh, we're toasty. Add some good shooting there into the wall. Into the wall you shoot. Only the Jaeger mech is uh, taking significant damage. And that's because it's a Jaeger mech, basically. Doesn't actually have any armor. Ooh, hit the ground. Right, actually. Take this guy out if I can. I did. He 
does have a... He does have a bigger ballistic than I do. You know what? Let's keep moving. These pricks have already worn out their welcome. Mm. Burn through them and retake the base. I remember that voice. It sounds very familiar. That tank's down. Okay, we got to retake the base. Well, let's wait for the little guys to get in there ahead of us. Why are you going this way, fool? Go the other way. Go the other way. That's it. Get in my way. I've also taken a fair amount of damage already. I don't like this. Yeah, I just had to. So they couldn't blow up on me. Ooh, is that actually a repair bay? No, because I can blow it, break it. Target acquired. Unable. No target info. There is target info. You just can't see. Boss wants us on that target. Oh, I tried on something explosive. Whoopsie. He's open. likely. That target is ours. And then the blackjack is down. Yeah, I am uh, struggling. What? I have no uh, armor left. This conflict has yet to truly begin. Do not allow arrogance to get the better of you. Yeah, I don't like that, Mech. Will you move? Stupid AI standing in front of me. Right, let's retake the base. I also have taken a lot of damage. If only there was repair bays. Try not to step on anything explosive. Did you watch? Did you? No, I haven't actually watched anyone. I was. I will watch um, some videos of it. General Gerber, I have identified another wave of Lyran forces converging. But uh, it'll be after I stream, basically. So now we have to defend the base, and I've been stomping on this base like it's um Rats know they can't hold the base. Yeah. Suppress their fire. I think we might they fail this one anyway, because the Jaeger mix pretty much toasts. Oh, is there two lances Oh, that's not good. Two lances coming down. I'm wrecked. The Jaeger's wrecked. New target, Shadowhawk. I might actually switch to you new target shadow and target acquired more hammer Standing still is not the wise idea. Yeah, we can't take much. Reporting enemy damage. 
Wow. These mechs are terrible. Ammo explosion detected. Nice. I'm gonna lose my arm. I, I... Walking into a lot of firepower. Yes. Yeah. Ah, I've lost my arm. Awesome. So we didn't. I didn't get to choose these mechs. This is the, for the mission. I didn't get to choose them. Should I say? They're obviously the starting mechs. I probably should have worked on them a little bit. Yeah. Trying to fire a gun that isn't there. Ah, uh, sorry, Hunchy. It sucks that I've got no AC-10. going on there. Jesus. I don't know if that's meant to be like that or what. Fire and missiles would be helpful. You have no armor left last time I looked at you. I mean, it is technically eight on one, so it should go down fairly quickly, that Marauder. But I'm pretty sure my Marauder's lost stuff by now. Well, it doesn't look like it has, actually. Still looks like it's got everything. Field is clear. Be secure. Still plenty of work to be done, but that's a damn good start. Well, we won. Just. Work, I don't I think that counts as a win. For the combine moving forward. I seriously Preserve don't think it counts as a win. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to. These mechs. Hopefully we get to choose our mechs for the next fight, because I'm pretty sure I didn't. Although, maybe I just skipped that bit and didn't realise. We get money, and technically I can take a Warhammer. Or I could take an Assassin, or... A lot of salvage to scrap, yes. I do like the better quality weapons, so let's go with those. And then maybe we're going to take you, and then so we'll take you and one of you. Done. So yeah, there's nothing yet left of the Jaeger mech. Somehow you survived. You lost an arm. We got two million sea bills just for doing that mission. Good. Right, we're going to have to repair. Do I keep you or do I sell you? I think I will sell you. Yeah, because really I should have taken a assault mech in there. So let's uh, quick repair you. Edit loadouts on you. So repair, AC-10 ammo... We have a couple of double heat sinks lying around. Nice. And yeah, we should really shove that down the bottom. Done. 
in all fairly, fairness, I'm thinking we drop that. To get more armor. I think that is needed. Okay, maybe we don't go that high. That's better. 24 days, so be it. I mean, what the hell are we doing with you? That, you know, the ammo being in the side torso is why it blew up. Uh, why not swap out... Put a burst fire in the Marauder. Because... I don't know. At the moment, just surviving. Just keeping what I've got, basically. Um... But yeah, I probably will swap out some of the weapon systems eventually. Yeah, this guy has no armor. So you know what? We're going to drop the AT2s entirely. Ah, it doesn't tell me... No, it does tell me. It's just by here. It doesn't tell, show me up here what kind of weapon systems I've got, what hard points I've got even. But yeah, that is... No armor. This is terrible. So two bins? No, I'm thinking at least three bins. Spare tonnage case the ammo. I don't think case exists in um, vanilla, if I'm honest. Although I'm not 100% sure. Actually, I can... I can max the armor there. So... This is where I'm thinking. We go... <laughs> LBX is 11 tons as opposed to 8 tons. Cost me a million sea bills, but it could work. Sorry, let's do it. Let's go for it. So, two LBXs, drop the ammo. Oh, hopefully, I. Yeah, six bins should be enough. Hmm, need to drop some armor. How many shots is that? 40. That is not enough. Let's go down to 40 armor. And then... I want one and a half more bins in there, I would say. Done. It's going to cost me a fair bit to put that together, but we got a uh, build there. And this guy. Going to drop those, I think. Take that out, and yes, an AC5 burst fire would be good. I don't want to waste tier 5 stuff in there just yet, because it ain't going to last too long. And... Definitely put the ammo in the leg. And... Well... Let's get up to 60 there. 60, max out the arms. Yeah, 
got one more turn. I think another heat sink is good. Yeah, we lose the firepower on the medium lasers, but we've got more durability. Survivability. And... Let's take a look. Are we... I think... If I drop those, max the armor. I'm still not fully maxed because the legs are a little bit low. But yeah, that makes more sense. And... Done. You know what that'll do for the moment that will do let us depart from new mission Hanson Damien has his eyes fixed squarely on Vega not for the minerals or resources but to satisfy his own ego ISF reports still haven't accurately reflected the size of the force Davin has dispatched but is expect to be expected to be considerable I don't know when the conflict will erupt but it is in imminent I'm transferring your contract to Gerber for the remainder of this assignment. I wish you good fortune. 67 days, that's fine. Ooh. Ooh. Incoming. The Draconis Combine has gone too far, inflicting harsh actions upon Federated citizens protesting against the conquerors that have invaded their lands. The FedCom Alliance must initiate swift action in response to this senseless violence. Seeking to conquer, to dominate, all in the guise of liberation. Our skies are riddled with the enemy. Invasion is upon us. Stewards of Vega, your world will soon be under attack by the power hungry invaders. We cannot withstand this onslaught. It is only a matter of time before our lands are overrun, before our people are enslaved. Great sacrifice is required to prevail, to secure the freedom of our citizens, for the Combine to live on. Boom. I know, that is very nice scaling. It shows the how big a mech is, even a little tiny locust. Ooh, rare raven almost worth picking up apart from it doesn't have any ECM so it's kind of pointless <gasps> a longbow oh we can buy one oh there's a grand dragon that's some very nice high tier weapons it's 10 million sea bills hmm Why is the Grand Dragon more than the Longbow? I don't know, but let's check the equipment. There is some nice high tier... Ooh, AC2 burst fires. Yeah, I'm going to pick up those. I have a, an idea for a build in mind. Large laser tier 5. Medium laser tier 3. Let's pick up all of those. LRM 20. Mask. Interesting. 
I see ultra ammo. Ooh, gauss ammo. I've got three bins. Pick up a couple more. Double heat sinks. Hell yes. Picking up the double heat sinks because they're going to be. Seabillers, you say how funny. I know. Seabillers. They're going to be gone very quickly. And. Ooh, you're actually very good pilots. I mean, you're a tier 60, so we're definitely picking up you. Yeah, let's just pick up the tier 60 ones. Uh, mission briefing. I don't think... No, nothing new there. Uh, I ain't gonna blow smoke, Commander. You're in the frying pan now. Excuse me. Little bit of a cough. Uh, the Commonwealth is coming... Uh, and back to finish the job they started during the fourth succession war units are coming to plow right through us and spread through the combine like a flesh-eating disease like zombies the powers that the powers that be got no problem throwing hey oh the powers to be Oh, the powers that be got no problem throwing the fifth into the meat grinder. I get it. They finally threw us a bone and gave us some teeth in the fight, but it ain't gonna bring back the men I've buried. You choose a life of war, collecting scars is part of the game, but I'm tired of carving names into headstones. You could fill a graveyard with the men that have bought it under my command. I keep hearing tales from the men living in ivory towers about reforms that will protect the boots on the ground. But until I see them bolted into solid reality, it ain't, I ain't going to hold my breath. Damn glad to have you to inject some muscle into our ranks, Commander. But don't get stuck in the mud. The Combine's company store scheme has boxed in Merc units like yours many times. Before you realize they've stepped on the landmines, you've already been blown into a million pieces. But we'll need to put that on the back burner. Right now, we got a whole lot of fighting coming our way. Prep up, you're gonna be running, running a gauntlet. When I was going to make life easy for them, show show Nordicas supporting us with the 14th Legion units. They made their name killing Liren guards during the 4th Succession Wars, so you're in good company. You'll also have artillery batteries, batteries set around the battle zone to keep them off your back. Hold off the invaders as long as you can, Commander. Don't give them an inch. Show show Nordica and I will call the game. Give him hell. Right. So we don't get duration at less than a day. Okay. Comp Do I get to choose my mechs? Let's take a look. I did. I just didn't see it last time. Right. I want to change this up a little bit. So I've got 10 tons to play with. I want to bring the Night Star. So we're 10 tons over. So that means bringing in the Kentaro. Yeah, that'll work. Boom, let's do it. Okay, so we do get to choose our mechs. I just didn't see it in the last one because I was too trigger happy getting into the fight. Let us see, let us see, let us see if my Nightstar skills are any better than my Marauder skills. I haven't modified this at all, so we'll see whether it actually holds up. To avenge their failure to capture Vega during the Fourth Succession War. Help the Fifth deny House Steiner victory in Vega once again, Commander. We need to ensure Theodore Corita's reforms have a chance to make a difference. 
Let's just hope he's a man of his word. Enough of my men have been served up as sacrificial lambs during battle. Ooh, it's like a leg, nice. Words are just noise to a soldier. I rely on what I can see with my two damn eyes. You got hostiles closing. Open fire. Already started firing whilst you were talking like a politician. Friendly fire. Tracking a Myron dropship descending on your location, General. And at least we don't have to fight the dropships in this mod. Thank God, good. He's very angry, that guy. I'm surprised they haven't shown you yet with Steiner Scout Lance full of atlases. Give it time. We'll take on four atlases before long. Right, so there's that dropship. I suppose we're going to go find it. And support our New allies. And also try and look out for the special weapon drops or the high tier weapon drops that are in the missions now. Getting it. Just not got it yet. Alright, you're down. Oh, I like the Gauss charge up. I, I like the sound of it. down. Oh, they've got my face a lot. They have indeed shot my face a fair bit. But, let's get in the water to cool down. Oh, look at that cooling. Look at it. Much better. That's amazing cooling. To be fair, yeah. Well, no, this is Davian we're fighting. We're not actually fighting um, Steiner yet. Well, that says pirate. That's the pirate symbol. So that'd be a load of rubbish. Yeah, go after that guy. Mm, taking a fair amount of fire. Oh, I'm stuck on the rocks. Stuck on the rocks. Right, let's God get that guy. From hell. Keep fighting. I'm pretty sure that's the same actor we've heard in previous DLCs. Right, is this guy still alive? And yeah, there's that dropship. Yeah, he is still alive. God, did he run into me and die? Good. Right, try and get that guy. Go for that guy, he's gone. Can 
we Excellent get work, this Commander. guy? You stood your ground. Yes. I'm dispatching relief in place. The 14th Legion will take it from here. Advance mm. to the marked extraction point. Stand by for the next move order. We haven't finished yet. There's still things to blow up. I can't leave just yet. No, you can't fight. You're dead. Oh yeah, you're dead. Uh, right. Advance the extraction point. The fact that it's making me walk that distance. You might want to armor. Yeah, I mean, my head's open. But that's because it's a Night Star and it's got a massive cockpit. That even I can hit. So... I mean, it's done well. I haven't actually, apart from my cockpit, I haven't actually taken too bad a damage, apart from one side tour, so. A Centurion has taken damage. Um, sorry, I meant to say you might want... Uh, it probably is fully armoured. That's a stupid thing. It's just Nightstars have a... The weak point is their cockpit. I can't see my Centurion. Senate torso is open. That's not good. I know there's a, a mech bank there, but we don't actually get anything for killing it, do we? I don't think we would anyway, apart from it being on the loot table. Is that the Wolverine ahead of me? Probably. No, it's a heavy mech. I feel like there's an ambush waiting for us. Well, there kind of is. There's still mechs on the battlefield. There's multiple. What is that? That's a dragon. Boom! Little guy gone. I wouldn't mind a dragon as a free mech, but I don't know. I've got plenty of mechs at the moment. And none of them are in good shape because they're all vanilla mechs. Oh, oh, mech behind us. It's an assassin. Nearly got his leg. Just nearly gone in general. He's gone, right. Let us get out of here. The artillery is still firing, even though there's not much on the battlefield. Yes, I probably should have picked a quicker mech to get. Our assigned mech target is Ooh. on the field. Let's take it down. Yeah, let's. Can't hit it. Got it that time. Oh, it's just smush on the ground now. But that wasn't the mech that we need to kill. This is. There we go. Kill three spiders. I have one. And then kill 10 missile carriers. I have one of 10. Ooh. Blackjack, yeah, can leave that. Initiating extraction now. I was going to try and kill it, but it, it's... Well, I was already getting out of there, so that's fine. 2.4 million sea bills, lovely. Right. I can't take the archer, sadly. Mm, I, could, I could take you. Or I could take you. Well, let's see what high tier weapons there are. 
That's about it. Right. Okay, that, that was a lot of high tier weaponry there. We've got left 19. Enough for the Enforcer. I could definitely sell that. I think I will. Although, that's better value for money. And it gives me three extra picks to pick. An SRM-6. And a medium laser. Awesome. We did better in that mission. Yeah, there's some open structure but no wounded pilots and no explosive parts of any mechs so quick repair work time will exceed time until the next mission okay so that's that's fine um three days so i'm guessing the next mission is launch immediately is fine um yeah we're gonna sell you done and mission briefing listen up commander a new sit rep just hit my desk and it's a whopper unlike the combine fedcom aren't shy about hiring some heavy hitting merc units to do their dirty work They've contracted Gamacho's Caballeros, the 17th Recon Regiment, and Colonel Merwin's First Grave Walkers. They're calling themselves Task Force Blizzards. Bastards hit the spaceport in New uh, Nazu, knifing through late armor security units like butter. If that ain't bad enough, word is Rhonda Snored and her. Irregulars are standing by in the area, just waiting for the green lights. Don Carlos and his boys have made themselves right at home. They've set up shop inside the heart of the city. We're gonna give the cab caballeros and the grave walkers a one-way ticket to the scrapyard, but we got work to do. Advanced recon scans probe the area, showing Don Cal Carlos's gear is stashed inside the city. Haul ass into the target area and scoop up the Caballero's encrypted files. We get our hands on those. We can crack him open and gain the upper hand. Don Carlos won't just hand over the goods, Commander. So get in and get out. Getting your wings... Uh, without getting your wings clipped. So is this a one of the recon missions? Potentially. Not the recon missions. The infiltration missions. So, yeah, you're not going to be ready. You're not going to be ready. You're not going to be ready. You are going to be ready because you didn't take any damage. Right, this time round, we are taking... I'm going to take the victor. I don't think we can put the king crab in just yet. Let's bring the marauder. That gives me 45 tons to work with. Just, just enough for the blackjack. Look at that. Has anyone tried playing the campaign from the beginning going through all the DLCs? I uh, technically did in the modded series I just did. And it is possible to do it. You don't get all of the DLC campaigns coming up at once. And... The, the 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 one downside of doing that in terms of modded is you'll never get to the super heavies that appear because it just takes too long to go from the start right up to when the super heavies appear but it is possible to do the campaign alongside all the dlc campaigns and by the looks of things this takes place well, it is it takes a place after the russell hog um DLC so yeah it's not not impossible and it is nice to do it because th these missions would not be this difficult if you started from the beginning because you'd have more you'd have better equipment especially playing modded you'd have a lot of very good mechs 
So, yeah, let's jump into this and see what happens. We've got to wait the one day, but it means we get more. So, if you want to play all of them, I would recommend doing that. Commander, clock is Just because it's this one. You need to very good. The encrypted files belonging to the Caballeros located inside the city. Sensors are going haywire, tracking mercenary forces up ahead. We got an AC-20. Ah, I missed. Both AC-20 shots. Oh, it's so slow. It fires like a potato. Oh, the accuracy is just not there. Who's next? Who's next for my AC-20 potato gun? <laughs> I haven't hit once. Haven't hit once with it yet. Hey, finally got him. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Copy. We're on it, sir. Cicada. Big enough target. Should be able to hit that guy and do. New target assassin. Target destroyed. First wave down. Is a veto up there. It has gone boo. What a shame. I just conducted another perimeter scan. The data servers containing the 17th encrypted files are located on the march points. Get That's on it, Commander. Literally in, in the middle of nowhere. Should be in a building. Spitting much trash talk after your teeth are kicked down your throat. More mech units coming your way. Where are they? New target, Phoenix Hawk. Focus the commander's target. What else we got? Grasshopper. Okay. Yeah, come on. Where is it? Where is it? Right above me. It's going down. It's gone down. Right. Fire starter next. So this guy is very slow. And that makes it easy for my AC20. Santiago has lost a component. What a surprise. It's a blackjack. It's meant to lose components. Is it for you? You've lost an arm. There's a surprise. You poked it too hard. I did poke it too hard. Mm. Who doesn't love poking it too hard? Oh, yeah, blow up the explosive thing before I step on it. Second data server is marked. Keep moving, Commander. Again, it's out in the middle of nowhere. That's just rubbish. Should be in a building. Oops, wrong key. Wasted missiles.
Alright, where's the next lance? Probably after we collect this, I'm guessing. Should be hiding in the building. It's hiding in a bunch of trees. That's just rubbish. Wait. Now fall back to the mark extraction zone and I'll process the intel. Wait for the ambush. Where's the ambush? Come on. Look alive. They're sending more units your way. Move your ass. Enemy mech in the area. Him up. Keep moving. Don't let him hold you up. We need you and the files in one piece. He's gone. In force. Uh, I'm fighting. I am fighting. I'm not going to run away from good loot. Ooh. I mean, AC-20s are still just amazing when they actually hit. Maybe they dropped it. Possibly. Oh, I walked into that. Coordinated attack target received. Luckily, he's walking into my entire lot. He's gone boom. Is he actually? Yeah. Slow, slow down, slow down, slow down. Yeah, we don't take any damage from him exploding. We're still looking pretty good on ammo. We've got 50 shots remaining. Same with SRM ammo. We're looking good there as well. And overall, we're doing well on armor. The only person that's lost anything is a blackjack with an R. That's to be expected, really. Yeah, I'd imagine they, they can't really put the servers in building because we can't get into the buildings. So, that, they just, they're putting them out in the open, but they could also put them on mechs, I guess. Can you issue lance commands or is that just... No, that is... I can issue lance commands. So, at the top, you've got F1, 2, 3, 4. F1 being everyone attack or 2, 3, 4 for an individual mech. And then it's fire at target, cease fire, open fire, uh, depending on what you've got it. And then uh, go to target location. So, yeah, you have got options to give commands. There is part of a DLC, not part of a DLC, part of a mod that gives you more command options but you don't really need much more than that if i'm honest there i think like defend mech um and things like that i could say the warhammer it's worth a fair bit of grasshopper just not good enough i'm thinking the phoenix is just worth it for the money I mean, there isn't much else there, so I'm thinking we take that, take that, that, and we might as well take a medium laser. Uh, yeah, just a... Damage out. You did no damage. 14 damage out. Why are you not doing any damage? To be fair, I did apparently 126. Sorry, that's damage taken. Yeah, you didn't take any damage. Otherwise, they all did around the 400 mark, and I did over a 1,000. Okay. Uh, and... You know what? Uh, where is it? Stats, career, objective logs. Here we go. Let's uh, abandon that one, because I'm pretty sure...
We get flamers, single heat sink, small chem laser, just one. Yeah, tier four. Nice, kill panthers. Let's do that one. So, battle mechs. Quick repair, two days. That's not a quick repair. Let's take a look at you. So, repair. Let's drop the small lasers. Ammo in the leg. That's 200 rounds. That's good. Yeah, let's max out the arm. Armor. Might as well max out that armor. Done. Gives you a little bit more durability. Yeah, you won't be ready for the next fight. That's not a problem. You won't be ready for the next fight either. And you will. Good. Uh, oh, I took the grasshopper by mistake. Whoopsie. Didn't actually want that one. Is it worth keeping around as another 70 tonner? No, I think we've got enough. Let's see. Is any of the weapon systems good? No. Let's sell it then. Gives me two million more sea bills. Lovely. So, Warhammer. Let's take a look at you. So... I think I'm going to drop those. Ammo in the legs for safety. And then the machine gun ammo wants to be half machine gun ammo. We do not need any more than that. And... Gives us one and a half tons to armor up. Armor up the arms, side torsos. Done. Look at that. Good. And then realistically, we want. Better medium lasers. I haven't got a pair of better PPCs yet, so I'm going to leave those. And... Let's put a better SRM in there. Do I have machine guns? I do have better machine guns. Let's go with better machine guns. Done. 33 days. Fine. Let's talk about the next mission. So, that was solid work, nabbing the intel right under the 17 recon's noses, Commander. The encrypted files have thrown the Caballero's arsenal right out into the open. It's on you and the 5th to head into the objective area and paint the targets, leaving nothing but fire and smoke. Carlos has a flair for the dramatic. He won't sit on the sidelines for long if he sticks his nose out. And knock his ass out of the game. Happy hunting. Let us go. Hellstorm. Uh, visibility. Interesting. Cool. 4.3 million Z-Bills because it's hazard pay of a million. And damage coverage of a million as well. Bad news, nice. Commander. Extreme weather conditions means you'll be dealing with limited visibility and compromised sensors on this mission. Right, who are we taking? We are taking... Well, can't take the King Crab. Fine, let's take the Jaeger. 
and then we've got room for quick draw. I have got ten more tons to play with, but I've got nothing else to put in there. No, because everything else is getting repaired. Cool. Let us do it. Let's see if the Jaeger Mech survives with me at the pilot seat. It probably won't. It'll probably get blown up, but hey. Time to dial in. The intel recovered from inside Nansu allows us to identify a series of high-value targets. Advance into the area of influence and clear out the objectives on the marked route. Keep your heads up. The Caballeros are lurking. They sniff you out, they'll be on you like dogs on a bone. Mm. The atmospherics and terrain could affect asset visibility. Keep moving and ensure positive identification of targets, Commander. So is this? I can't see a damn thing out here. I can. Be advised, General. Reading hostile activity along target route. Looks like Ooh. Don Carlos is geared up for a fight. You're cleared hot. Well, I'm trying to punch through. Reading tanks on your position. Mind that ground fire, Commander. New target, Trebuchet. Trebuchet. Why have you gone point blank to me? It makes it easier for me to hit you. Four of six. Right, there's one more. Because he got that. Oh, there we go. The final one. Ooh, what is this? Don't listen to him, boys. It seems like Don Carlos is better at making threats than following up on him. <gasps> oh my god, recovered Gauss. Level 5 times 2. That is an amazing find. That's going in the Night Star, and then we're going to lose them both straight away. Yeah, I like picking up high tier weapons. I'm hoping they appear in more missions than so than I'm just one. They probably have been in other missions that we've faced tonight already, but I just haven't looked around for them because I've been too busy surviving. Targets verified. I've pinpointed a group of satellite dishes up ahead. Neutralize them and eliminate all hostiles in the AO while you're at it. Right, you're down. Come on, go down. He is going down. Ooh, blackjack. Easy squishable targets. Just aim for the groin. That's where the center torso is. Oh, I'm losing my side tour, so it's not good. Oh, hello. Boom. Don't like you. Target acquired. Affirmative. Commander target is now priority. Only got 101 shots left, so I need to be careful on LVX ammo. I like how they're missing the target. It's a stationary target, people. How can you miss it? Yeah, no, my, my weapon groups are a little bit messed up. They're on two and three, nothing on one, but it's fine. I can make do. Yeah, I'm on. There we 
go. No time for a breather. Keep moving. I am. Through the wall we go. I'm pretty sure this is just mission three or no, it might be mission four. So we're flying through the missions fairly quickly, and apart from the first one being a little bit of a difficult mission, they've all been pretty Enemy easy fire. so far. Cut him down. Woohoo indeed! The smoke is causing chucking interference. Push through and finish the job! Yeah, I'm on. Oh, you're going down. Uh, okay, defeats one of five. Yeah, dropping behind us. Let's see if I can get rid of this guy first. How are you, Jesse? And yes, you made it just in time to watch me take on a battle master. Show them what the fifth is made of. Bring Carlos and his boys down. Well, I'm taking a bit of damage. Okay, I'm going to stop firing for a second because I'm about to lose an arm. I'll take that battle master down. Stop shooting me! I have stopped shooting you. Uh, at least I haven't lost an arm because I've got the good weapons in me. Is down. Good work, oh, I'm gonna lose an arm, aren't I? Carlos and his boys are bugging out. Yeah, there goes the LBX. Damn it! I had it for one mission. I have to buy another one now. Oh, missed. That reactor's about to go. Oh, he did that from above while jumping. Or punched me, whatever, I don't know. But he shot me, hit me. Whilst I was jumping. Okay, I kind of win. But I lost an arm, and that's annoying. Uh, hey, two kills in two minutes. I'm here doing well, it seems. It is, it is doing well. I am doing well. It is doing well. Talking to me in like a third, fourth perspective. Yeah, look at those Gauss rifles. And obviously some ammo. And a lot of money. We're getting very rich. That's the good thing with these campaigns. They get us very rich very quickly. And eventually, they will also get us some mechs. Some very, very good quality weapon systems there. And we'll take another one of those. Awesome. Ooh, he lost a side torso, but that's not the worst thing. Oh, look at that. It's a Catapult K2 S variant. And 300,000 C bills, but that is very nice. That's a very good mech. Lone, which perspective that was? You called yourself it. Are you secretly Skynet? I am secretly Skynet that can't help but explode all my loot. And that my own mechs, basically. So, no, we'll read that in a second. Let's go to battle mechs. Your 11 days of... Hang on a second. 
that one. One day. The hunchback just never gets shot at. I don't know why, it just doesn't. Uh, right, you definitely need a rework. We don't need jump jets. AI doesn't use them. For whatever reason, it just doesn't. Um, let's definitely max the armor. And drop it down a little bit. So we've got half a ton. I'm thinking we drop that. Put an SRM6 in there. We put a lot more ammo in there. And tier two lasers. Okay, remember me when you take over the world. I will remember every one of my subscribers. They're the only people that will survive my wrath. Maybe. Possibly. I probably will fail completely because I'm not very good at taking over the world. Because I'm not very good at shooting things. Alright, let's put a, another heat sink in there. We've got half a ton. There must be half a ton of ammo. Done. Little bit more firepower, a lot more armor. Good. 50 days of repair. Oh dear. Uh, right, we're definitely selling you. Because we got this guy and we'll probably have to field that guy next time round. Marauder. Only two days of repair on you. You need a whole new arm. We don't have another LBX. Sadly. Well, we do. It's just not tier... Oh, I forgot to turn them off. Why are they lighter than this? LBX solid. We've got the money. Shall we run... Run that? One solid, one cluster? Sounds like the perfect thing to do. Ah, 17 days. Fine. Right, so... We actually have enough money to buy that longbow now. Do I buy the longbow? I, I love the fact that it's got one small laser. Why one small laser? I'm going to buy it. It's the OW. Boom. 10% off all purchases because the people like us. And there's technically a Grand Dragon that has a lot of good high tier quality weapons. And it has a nice paint job. Can't afford it now. So. And there's all the blackjacks that I've sold here. Let's take a look at you. Definitely dropping that. Ammo. Mm. Like so. We this eighteen armor. What? How have you got so little armor? thinking I drop all of that to max the armor it's still not looking that good wow that's terrible that is yeah that's bad 
We'll run it in not the next mission, but one of the next missions. Uh, right, we got. I think we got three days. So we're getting the Hunchback and the Marauder back. The Victor's nearly back. Centurion will be back next time round. And yeah, we're running out of mechs because I keep. I'm. I'm basically the problem with starting the DLC and then just jumping straight into it. The none of the mechs are optimized properly. They're all vanilla builds and therefore they all fall apart way too easily. So that's the problem here. And we're having to spend some time repairing them. So hopefully we get to a point where there's like a 30 day wait or something or travel time in a second. So I don't have to worry about having no mechs for one of my missions. But we got the King Crab still, so we can always drop that. Uh, then Victor, it's a, it is a nice mech. It did well for me in the mission. I dropped it. Uh, I just had to learn the AC-20 speed of fire trajectory and all that kind of stuff because it was terrible. It was firing at a meter a second, which is impossible really, but it somehow managed to do it. Anyway, uh, Don, Carlos, and the Caballeros have bowed out, but we're not out of the woods by a long shot, Commander. Snorn's Irregulars have been given the green light to join the fray. Ronda's, Ronda is a chip off the old block of our old man. And Cranston snored. She hasn't been in the driver's seat long, but she's looking to make her mark now that she's got the wheel. Snored Irregulars broke off from Wolf, Wolf's Dragoons back in the day. So you know they're tough as nails. The Irregulars have been spotted inside Orlux. Shosho Nordica cleared out a pair of 14th Legion bases. But now the Commonwealth wants to take, take them to really dig in their heels. The Commonwealth wants to take them to really dig in their heels. Here. This is a Scorched Earth's Op. We can't let the Irregulars get their hands on them. Last thing we want to do is destroy our own assets. But we're backed into a corner here. I've split you into two attack groups while you take out a vacant Legion base on one point of the map. Choose Sir Aleska will lead his own units and level the second Legion base in another front. Get the job done out there, Commander. Snorzy regulars have made a name collecting things. Our bases that won't be added to that list. Alright, let's see. I can't use airstrike. Fine. I'm getting three and a half million sea bills. That's not too bad. Right. We've got 290 tons. So that means we're going to be putting in the King of Crabs. Just. And then the quick draw is not ready. So, well, catapult time. Also, I have a pilot that I need to be using. And Santiago, you're out. Harden, you're in. You're tier 60. We should be using you. Rotec, I give it two AC2 Mydrons, an AC5 Mydron and four Clan Pulse. And some SRM seems underwhelming, maybe, but it slaps on the criticals and delivers many intact enemies for me to look to loot whole. Love the mech bay view. I, I it is a nice, the nice view, and it that does seem like a pretty good build. Eighty ton heavy black. I mean. An 80 ton heavy is alright, but when you've got a King Crab already to start with, it's better. Because it comes with two AC-20s. Problem is with vanilla McWarrior 5, you don't get the option of putting multiple ballistics on a Victor. So you've only got the one ballistic hard point. So you can't really do too much there with it. But yeah, having... Uh, 
multiple AC2s on a mech is always good because it does add a bit of punch to what's being fired. And in Rogue Tech, it has a stability so it can lock things down. Weapons online. All systems phenomenal. Commander, it's on you to disrupt the enemy's capability to seize a vacant 14th Legion base. Chusa Alesco's unit is set on another attack point to clear out another target. Damn shame it's come to this, but we're out of options. General, tracking enemy mechs formed up in defensive positions at the vacant 14th Legion base. Roger that! Prepare for a fight! Where are they? Are we breaking the base or is my friends just shooting randomly? Didn't reconfigure your mechs to start some mods use and save when you win the return. Yeah, if you don't um, configure your starting mechs too well, well, if you don't have the option to configure them, it's a pain in the ass these campaigns because they're a bit of a challenge to begin with and therefore i'm running out of mechs very quickly but i'm holding up well yeah gotta remember to mute my phone in a second Ah, took his arm off. Nearly took his leg off. Scrap that one. Uh, yeah, he's too too fast for me. He's gone. Destroy the vacant Legion base. Okay, we shall do. Out the way, out the way. Am I just pushing you along? I think I am. God damn it! This outfit is packing serious hardware. No way to fight fire with fire here. Keep moving and counter with precision hits. 14th base down to 50%. Keep hitting it. Alright, 33% is going down quick. Vindicator got killed. It's on the brink. Bring it down. Ooh, it's a Star League crab. Nice. Let's see if we can take it out by legging it. Oh, death from above. Pretty much. see the right leg. Oh well. There might be some double heat sinks. Uh, let's make a door real quick, he says. Yeah, pretty much. A big AC-20 door. People keep messaging me. Ammo low. Yeah, I'm down to eight shots. Let's not... Wasting him away, C20. Fourteenth Legion base is down. Chusa, relay Citrap. The irregulars are all over us, taking effective fire, requesting immediate fire support. I repeat, requesting immediate fire support on our position. Meh, you're dead. Hang in there. Oh, all right. New move clip. order. Maneuver to Alesco's position and provide fire support. Haul up. Uh, 
What are you, Marauder? Oh, no. Hit the wrong key. Down to just lasers and missiles now, pretty much. Entirely sure, but I think I missed. Got him. Right, let's see if I can save. No. Uh, they're gone. My, my, my allies are gone. I don't know if you can save them. Six million to start the DLC. Yes. Yeah, you start with six million sea bills. Ooh, Highlander. No, oh, hit the rock. Engaging commander's target. What's the other mech? A battle master by the looks of things. Watch your fire. Sorry. That wasn't entirely me. Battlemaster. Battlemaster. Ammo low on the LRMs as well. That's not good. Friendly fire can fight you back. Watch it. Well, stop standing in front of me, fool. Here you go again. Look, you're standing in front of me. Uh, I'm out of ammo. If you're out of ammo, they can just drop more of a handheld weapon and they can switch them out. Mm. Maybe. I should be able to punch with the King Crab, by the way. I mean, I'm out of ammo, so it makes sense. That I just start punching. Ooh, that's a 27B, so it's not a Star League. It's not a Star League one. Yeah. I am down to just a large laser now, by the way, and five missiles. So, I'll oh, eliminate the remaining forces. I've got to take these guys out. Gotcha. Right. Let's, do this. Let's get rid of you. New target, Shadowhawk. Copy. We're on it, sir. Let's get rid of you. Oh, the catapult is uh, taking fire. Yeah. We're just running out of weapon systems now. Oh, 
And then you got the awesome that's complete. Okay, yeah. Catapult is gone. Well, that shit. Yeah, we're gonna lose this one because I don't have enough ammo in this mech. And I've still got the. Yeah. I've still got enough. Yeah, the king crab's gonna go down. I think we're gonna have to restart this one. One large laser just doesn't work. Do, does anyone have any ammo? You don't have any weapons. You don't. Well, you do. You got an SRM too. You don't have any ammo either. You're running hot. PPC gone. I'm literally down to a PPC and that's it. Yeah, okay. Um, restart mission. I couldn't do that one because I had no ammo left in any of the mechs. Yeah, so 6 million Seabills starts the mission and if you start the... I need way more ammo. I do need way more ammo. And it might be that I have to jump out of the mission to reconfigure my mechs, but then I haven't then I can't deploy them because I'm time limited and I have to deploy them. So get six million C bills and then three hundred and twenty nine day wait if it accepts the mission straight away. Seize a vacant 14th Legion base. Choose Let's go for you. Unit is set on another attack point to clear out another target. Damn shame it's come to this, but we're out of options. General, tracking enemy mechs forward up in defensive positions at the vacant 14th Legion base. Roger that. Prepare for a fight. Okay, let's cool down because we're about to get into a fight now. With everything you've got. Oh, where's that light mech? Oh, there's a medium mech somewhere. New target, Panther. Our assignment target is fine. Just go field. through the building. Go through the wall. SRM4. Well, he's got nothing now. Oh. Oh, there's you as well. a little bit toasty. Ooh, carrier. 
Good guy. Good boy. Set up a chain fire group. More irregulars descending onto the target area. That'll help. Fourteenth base down to fifty percent. Keep hitting it. God damn it. This outfit is packing serious hardware. Yeah. No way to fight fire with fire here. Keep moving and counter with precision hits. Mm, trying. It's on the brink. Bring it down. Right, the base is pretty much gone. Where are the enemies that I've seen? There's one. Shared target identified. That's it, you just ignore me. I'll get in behind you. the next two we're not doing too bad I don't think oh miss that was a wasted bullet Because they are the weakest point, they've got no armor. But heat is also an issue. Oh, that was a miss. Next rate, you think for the Marauder will be swapping your PPs for large lasers? Yes, because then I can put some more cooling in the mech, I think. Ah, fight right between his legs. And again! Damn it! Well, I think he's shut down. Good, good. No, oh, I missed. Come on, give me that leg. Give me that. Ah, fine. We'll just go through your center torso. I mean, if I can get there with those two allies still there, we might actually stand a chance. I mean, that's the enemy battle master gone. Cyclops is pretty much gone. Orion will be gone by the time I get there, most likely. But yeah, overall, it's not um, too bad. This time round. Destroying the base is not the hard part. Gonna take more than that. Keep blasting it. Yeah, do that. And I don't see any enemies at the moment, but there will be. I'm pretty sure there's some here somewhere. Thank you. 
There, the Highlander. Has taken out the Cyclops just as we rounded the corner. And we are in better shape this time round, so. Yeah. If you got enough in the tank, make sure you smoke all these pricks. 14th Legion base about to come down. Finish it off. We are oh, definitely getting the base. 14th Legion base is down. Let's see if I can take out the awesome before it gets to us. It becomes a problem. No, because I get way too shots. Do we? Damn you, catapults! Ooh, nearly got him. I got his arm, didn't want his arm. Okay. Target shared engaging. Go on, take him down, take him down. Let's use some rocks for some cover. And the awesome's pretty much gone. I think it has gone. Alright, crab next. Sensors is open. Right, Black Knight. Black Knight. Oh no 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 no! Ah, the cat pulls down again. I'm possibly going to lose the Marauder as well. Well, this is turning into a proper fight. This mech. Uh, how am I still standing? Yeah, there, there goes a PPC. Go to the... I just destroyed that mech. Uh, you're out of ammo, right? You, <laughs> you're out of ammo as well, right? It ain't possible. It is not possible. If we have to deploy in three days after this mission, we haven't got any mechs. I have to buy some from the store. Lost a big chunk there. Yeah, the Marauder's gone. Well, if I can take out that side torso and arm, we might actually do this. But he is twisting away. 
as I get chance to fire. Yeah, there goes. Punch back. I'm gonna lose my arm. If he takes out my uh, large laser, we're screwed. I nearly got it. Nearly got it. Ah, come on. Okay, there goes a medium laser. Yeah, I'm going to lose the uh, large laser in a second. If they drop anything else after this, I'm screwed. Try and take out his legs so that he sits still for me. Although, just shooting him in general is a good idea. Yet moving as much now. New target, Shadowhawk. Ah, it's not a new target. It's it's an old target. Come on, come on. Hopefully we got some downtime now because we need some because all of our mechs need repairs. Initiating evac sequence now. Wow. Oh, that was brutal. But these aren't meant to be starting missions. These are meant to be you fight them with mechs that are purpose built there's the star league crab and i can take it so i will should get some um double heat sinks out of that there's none on the board a uh, large pulse laser why not large laser short bursts why not? Done. <gasps> You're dead! Everyone else is injured. Wow. Shit. Yeah, 10 million in damages. Uh, when is the next mission? Does it say? It doesn't. Right, you. I want that out of there. That out of there. That out of there. Start work. Let's do quick repair on you. 46 days. I mean, double heat sinks are in you. We lost both the good PPCs. Give you AC2 burst fires. And do you know what? Mm. 
have that. It's a mismatch. I don't like it. I also think... Single heat sinks. Done. I think we're going to run out of money. Both... I got legged. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, large lasers going in there. Let's take those. Gives me four more tons for cooling. Bin, bin of ammo. I think that's needed. Good evening, Termit. You just uh, missed the most brutal fight of the night so far. Um, and yeah, you need a refit. What kind of AC twenties do I have? Put an AC twenty burst fire in there. Why not? And you know what? A regular one as well. But tier three. More damage. 40 days of repair. Damn. <laughs> Look at the list of repair. Jesus. That's insane. How does having your legs taken off keep the pilots? Or kill the pilots? Um. She forgot to strap him properly, and when she fell over, she went through the cockpit. Maybe? I'm going with that. Long way down, falling, yeah. That's pretty much what it comes to. Right, so. Hopefully, more than. If it's three days, we're screwed. We cannot do any more. Also, uh, barracks. We need to hire meet you in the ready room. My you history is my ready. I hope my and you. Is satisfactory to your needs. So, Commander, a priority alert just came in. <laughs> so, three days. Chusa Lesko's unit has been ambushed by snorty regulars in the Bandy Wastes, northeast of New Egypt. His lance mates are reporting Alesco's down and unresponsive. The fifth never leaves a man behind. We ain't gonna start now. We need to get Alesco strapped to a medivac VTOL and dust him out. Get in the fight, otherwise the Chasus are gonna. Move fast. Shit. Right, so... Less than a day. Less than a day the campaign, the, the mission takes. Three days. So. What have we got? We've got the Victor and the Centurion available to us. Victor and the Centurion. Neither of you can pilot, so we need three new pilots, basically. Done. Then we need to buy two new two new mechs. Oh look, we can't we can buy a black no oh, that's the broken blackjack from earlier. Cicada, I mean we could buy a cicada. Enforcer That's a dragon. That's a dragon I sold earlier. I mean, that is a hunchback. Okay, so what have we got that we could just sell? I've got Kintaro that hasn't even... So that's something. And i got a panther as well. We're going to fail this mission. Kintura, so it does look fixed. I didn't see that one. So. 
Is that everyone? It is. That is literally all of our mechs fielded or being repaired. If we do not get a break soon, we cannot continue. I'm going to have to sell mechs to buy mechs to keep in the fight. Um... Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Three days. Three new pilots, basically. I've just killed off one of my pilots. <laughs> I'm doing shit, aren't I? Oh, need to press spacebar again. Oh, I can't believe this. What did I expect? I didn't expect it to be easy, I suppose. In a world of hurt. They're raining down fire. Chusan took an effective hit. He requires an immediate medevac. Panther's gonna go down. I'm designating you support element. Bound up to their location and draw those bastards off them. Your units stuck their nose in our business for the last time. And the Panther looks good. The Panther's gonna die because these missions are getting more and more difficult. It's not going to survive, I don't think. Let's get rid of some trees so I can see. Are they literally on an island? Oh, artillery. No. Hate artillery. All units, keep your goddamn heads up. Those artillery impacts are covering every inch of the target area. The two sides unresponsive. We needed to clear those spotters so we can get them out of here. They're hitting us with tech we've never faced before. So watch yourself. Clear them out, Commander. Alesco's boys will remain with him as a security shield. They'll be sitting ducks, so if you want to earn a few extra bags, make sure the whole lance makes it through. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Goddamn irregulars! Years of looting worlds paid off. Now the odds are always stacked in their favor. Does that count as a missile carrier? Interesting. Also... Okay, we're going a long... A bad route? A long route? Or just a weird route? We're going the longer route, I think. But we are going to a route to a target, so that's fine. Oh. New target, Shadowhawk. Javelin. Oh, carrier. Oh, is this going to be more high level tier weapons? It is. Excellent find, Commander. Beginning recovery now. Target acquired. Okay, out of range. Down you go. That's a long list of recovered items. 
Ah, stop stepping in front of me, you stupid AI idiots. Enemy mech down. So we You're just got. Out. Now keep pushing. Show these dirty thieves what a real fight looks like. Hey, stop Time shouting at me. Us. Push forward. Spotted neutralized, General. Keep it going. We need to pull our boy out of the fray. Even if it means sacrificing my entire lance. Coordinating on target ID. So we got from that recovery four double heat sinks, six level five medium pulse lasers, and six level five medium lasers. Oh, tanky boy. Destroyed. Another tank. Oh, come on, go down. There we go. And another one. And uh, destroy the tag mechs to stop the artillery strikes. Limit the enemy forces at. Brad point nav point bravo which is here and taro is there anything i see here at the moment oh no there's more go for the kintaro first actually i'm going for the tanks Right, that's that down. Ah, right, that's you down. That's you down. We're getting there. Oh, he's got a flamer. It's gonna make me hot. But it does not hot enough to stop me firing. Away from me! Go away! Right. Last target, all the way over there. We might actually do this one. Why are you all the way over here? Go back over there! That's where you're dying. Okay. We're cold again, which is good. If I go into the water here, do I get even colder? Contact. Hostile. No. Enemy eliminated. Right, flyers down. Time. Banshee. Banshee, wow. Smash through the rest and let's get our boy out of there. Got the leg. Yeah, saved by the tree. Got his leg, good. Oh, I fired through his bloody leg. How? The shell is too big to fit through his leg. Take out the tank. Right, that's one more thing gone. Banshee is going down. And that should be the last thing. Area secure. We mopped them all up. 
I think the guy that invests in the creation of the warrior VTOL has a lot of FPF money. I mean, it, there's a million of them made, but it's more... I feel sorry for the pilots, because they're literally walking into a, a fight where two medium lasers can take you down, and will always take you down. that six tier five medium pulse lasers six tier five medium lasers four double heat sinks and five million sea bills not bad we could technically take a, a banshee but i think that would be a waste of salvage we could take a thunderbolts i think the five ss has double heat sinks if i remember correctly the Kintaro 19 may well have them as well, but let's take a PPC tier 3, LRM 10 tier 2, and one of those. Um, no significant damage, actually, which is good. So... Quick repair on you. I'm surprised the Panther survived. Also, that was four days of repair. And it wasn't running out of time. That's six days of repair. I think we have broken through. Seven days. Damn it. So we got about six days until the next fight. Which means we get the Nightstar, the Panther, Crab and Crab. Although the Crab is... So only getting three mechs. Wow. Because that's... A nothing mech. That, that, we're selling that. We're taking the equipment out of it. Oh shit, we're going to run out of mechs now. But we've got 9 million, so we can actually buy another mech. I got good news and bad news, Commander. Early signs point to Chu say Alesco's making a full recovery. But his other pilot died. You know, Lance Mate died. Just because he's not important for the mission and the storyline, so he's dead. He won't be in the seat of a mech anytime soon, but you really saved his ass out there. The bad news is my men are dropping like flies. That's because you keep sacrificing 10 to save 1. I'm not offering up more of my boys to slaughter. I'm pulling my men out of here while we still have a pulse. Choo Choo Nordica. Or Choo Choo Nordica. Is that someone different? We'll remain here in Vega with the 14th. But we need to burn out and regroup. That's the only way we're going to keep combat power and be of any use to the fight moving forward. What about me? I've literally got nothing left. Joviex, how is the new drop? It's uh, brutal so far. But as um, I've already explained, and to be fair, it's I've, it, with the other DLCs, as the same as this one, if you start do the DLC start and then jump straight into the DLC, all the mechs are vanilla and none of them are optimized to actually run well. None of them have good tier equipment and most of them are very, very squishy. And therefore, all of my mechs, all 12 of the starting ones and the three that I've got since I started... Are in repair so i think i'm down to three mechs that will be ready for this next fight and that's it so it's not looking good and otherwise i'm quite enjoying it with the right mechs and everything it's nice just wish he'd stop shouting because he's very very shouty when he's doing the voiceovers in the mission but hey small thing to worry about really uh, the Alliance and Snords regulars smell blood in the water. They're going to throw everything up at us to try and knock us out of the game for good. So you run away, leaving me on my own, basically. That's not how it's going to work. I need you to help us punch our ticket out of here. Our men have been loading up into three Union dropships that will get us out of Dodge. It's... On you to shield three Union dropships and ensure they launch out. 
You won't be in this alone. Show Show has set up a full complement of 14th Legion units to fight alongside you. It's a big ask, Commander, but I've got faith you will get the job done. Show Show, Nordica, and I will update the status of the launches as they unfold. Leave it all out there. Well, I have a feeling Stefan is maybe from the same country as me. Or from the country or to my north. Quite possibly. But yes, I am enjoying the DLC. It is very, very fun. And I am looking forward to playing it. From the beginning of the campaign kind of thing. So that the mechs are better equipped and in better repair so the victor and the centurion are out uh those two will be ready that might be it that might be all we have available to us so the night star night star Well, uh, you're injured still. Yeah, let's put you back in. Just three. Because the next one up is the Centurion, and it will not be ready in time. Just six days. 185 tons against to 335. I could buy another mech. So as a test, Heb Ik Gaelic. Hmm. I am going to say it's good weather out there. That's what you're saying. So mech market. Are we buying a mech for this fight? Uh, I could literally buy anything on the market. Buy a Warhammer. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to save it here. And see how well we do with three, and then we're going to try... Let's see how we go. Uh, buy one maybe seems like a tough fight otherwise. I probably should have bought one, but we'll give it a try. So I've got the Night Star. Night Star is powerful. Ensure the fifth depart Vega safely. The Alliance is sending enough firepower to ensure that doesn't happen. You and the 14th Legion will form a defensive shield around each Union dropship as they launch. Prevent the Leering Guard from breaking through. Whatever it takes. It's a lot on your shoulders, Commander. But I got faith you could punch our ticket out of here. I need to get some high ground to be really effective. But so far it's tanks they're firing at us. I'm happy with that. The Union class doesn't have any weapons, it seems like. But we do have some a lot of friends. All electrical systems and propellants operational. Guidance systems online. Big letters. Oh, oh. Enemy forces are bouncing on the perimeter. Contact imminent. Combat right here. You're down. Now I've got both side torsos open. And then his center torso. That's not good. That's bad aiming. Target 
Ooh, Warhammer. Let's get. Yeah. Get that Warhammer out of here. Jesus, there's a lot coming around the corner. If I can break that Warhammer, I think we're good. Good kill, Commander. Critical explosion imminent. Incoming missile. Oh, there is a lot coming. He's practically gone. Why are you charging me? Ah, come on. Take it down. I'm getting shot in the head a lot. My head is open. This isn't good. And that's the first of three dropships. Drop he out. did. He did want to hug me. I did not like being hugged. Right. Look at that. Look at the blast radius on the ground. That's the Marauder pretty much gone. Where are we going? Over there. Yeah, I'm not going to survive this because the head is so open. Uh, that's just molten, basically. It is. It's it's sand, so it should be, it's turned to glass now. I wish they had PPCs like every other dropship has had in the game. Although it was they're mostly modded, I think. So yeah. Threat alert! Incoming irregular mm. and alliance I'm thinking I might have to switch to you. Try to keep them isolated to your front, Commander. Jesus. They're goddamn relentless. You need to buy us more time. The prospect of living in glass from where dropships are taken off. That would be funny. Many times before. Contact. Battle back. All right, get around behind, get around behind. Mm, not quite. Not quite enough firepower, but. If I don't do anything for a moment. Ah. Oh, the Night Star's down already. Lovely. We are going to fail this one because the Night Star is shocking. Yeah, we need a new mech. My mine it, remelt it, sell it. Yes. So yeah, we need to buy a fourth mech. And the night star just just get is shit because everyone shoots it in the head because it's got such a massive cockpit. What do we buy? I'm, I'm tempted to buy the Orion? No. Let's buy the Warhammer. It feels like a waste of money, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, 
I go for you. Yeah, I mean, look at the, the rest of the mech is barely touched, and this is well, they're from the first fight, but if it's that easy to hit the cockpit, it's not a good mech, unfortunately. Six days of waiting. <laughs> we're, we're, we're 80 tons under still. That, yeah, we're not going to do this one, I don't think. Uh, but it's my second language, and your pilot has a literal roll-down window. <laughs> We've reached a decisive point, Commander. Yeah, pretty ensure much. Ensure the fifth depart Vega safely. The Alliance is sending enough firepower to ensure that doesn't happen. You and the 14th Legion will form a defensive shield around each Union dropship as they launch. Prevent the Leering Guard from breaking through, whatever it takes. It's a lot on your shoulders, Commander, but I got faith you could punch our ticket out of here. Why are you looking into space, fool? Oh, it's because there's those up there. Ah, good. That must be one of the tanks we're contracted for. Uh, I don't really care about that kind of stuff at the moment. Low mounts. systems and propellants operational. Guidance systems online. Target. Come, on, Ooh, come back round, come back round. Out the way, out the way. This might actually be more effective than the Night Star. Yeah. <laughs> wow, look at the Night Star already. That's gonna crumble. I mean, it's not head armor, but that's crazy amount of damage taken already. Yeah, look at it. It's going down. Why oh, don't I punch? Because there's no reason to punch. Yep. Oh my god, why did I do that? Can't do this. I'm doing way worse with this mech. Because I can't fire anything. I'm too hot all the time. This is a regular vanilla build, so 
it's not meant to be anything special. Ah, oh, Jesus. Wow. Why is there so much? I mean, I've barely been touched, admittedly, but the Night Star's down, everything else is down. Those enemy drop ships aren't shooting you. Yeah, this is true. The night star's gone, by the way. Yeah, we're not surviving this. This is impossible. Well, I ain't got many weapon systems left, but technically the other mechs are still there. One minute here. At least the Warhammer is able to take quite a beating, it seems. More than other mechs that I've got. Like the Night Star. Threat alert. Incoming irregular and alliance forces approaching the battle zone. Try to keep them isolated to your front, Commander. They're goddamn relentless. You need to buy us more time. Uh, I'm just trying not to draw all the firepower in the world right now. Yeah. We haven't got any machine guns left. I've got no weapon systems left. Dig in for the final push. Fight for every inch. Make sure Grover and the rest of the group make it out. The target, Archer, Ingram. Uh, why am I so hot? Damn it. I'm trying to learn where the bloody weapon systems are that make me hot. Which is all of them, it seems. Yeah. Uh, on the bright side, I did have half a mech. Alright, 
Right, what is left? Oh, Jesus, look at how many fucking... Flyers, look at how much is on the, that one little wave. I don't need the weapons, they make me hot. Target acquired. It's a bit bloody late. I've lot of I've, I've lost everything. It is not winnable. It is not winnable. So... Yeah, that decision for support units should have come a lot earlier. It should have come at the start of the bloody mission. Just deploy everything. Why, why wait? Deploy everything onto the battlefield when you know that they've got everything being deployed. <laughs> yeah. So, it is not achievable with the starting mechs. I don't know what to do. I, I, the Night Star is terrible. It gets shot in the head way too much. We can retry it, but it's not going to have any difference. The mission is to protect three very expensive important drop ships. Just deploy everything onto the battlefield. If you have a hundred mechs, they have to deploy everything of their mechs. To cheese the game by just one spot and let the timer run down. We've Effectively, I could, because the... Commander. Ensure yeah. Depart Vega safely. The Alliance let's do this. I'm going to stand over here by this one and see what happens. Let, let's see what happens, because that's effectively just 10 minutes then. It's a lot on your shoulders, Commander. But I got faith you could punch our ticket out of here. Okay, let's turn around and fire at least. And walk backwards. Target acquired. Dropship Liberty is booting up launch sequence. Uh, also... All electrical systems and propellants operational. Guidance systems online. Let's do that. So... What if we do just wait out time because this doesn't have a a damage icon as far as i can see popcorn time one more question why are they launching one by one good question cinematic bullshit basically Target acquired. the rock you go in this way. Enemy well, that was wrong weapons. That wasn't though. New target 
Oh, who's shooting? He is. Focus engagement on Leeds target. Ah, I'm stuck on a rock. Yeah, because they're coming after me rather than the dropship. So they'll just chase me down. All units stand your ground. Keep suppressing their attack. All right. Enemy forces are Form on, on me. Contact imminent. Mm, contact is there right now. We can't let you slip through. All right, you're down. Take out the tank. Four AC five is nasty. All in my head. Yeah, that's it. Take my head out. Okay. There goes one. Out. I'm just going to back all the way to the edge of the map. Up now. Four and a half minutes. To I meant staying at Liberty and Hammer. No, I'm thinking no because they deploy more forces down there, and the the VTOLs are what's swarming us a lot of the time anyway. I ain't using what anyway? My head? No, no, not really. Yeah, I kind of wish it was a well. It's higher ground over here. Let's go sit on this. So four minutes. And let's see if we can uh, just cheese this by being nowhere near the enemy when they drop down and letting the allied forces take the brunt of everything. Well, I can't really see anything, but that means that no one can see me. Flyers down. That's that's not bad. The prospect of survivability looks grim, Commander. But we've fought through die rods many times before. We got this, somewhat. Uh, there is a Hatsumoto down there. I mean, even with two SRM6s, that Crusader is nasty. Dragon's a bit shit, but hey. And what's the other one? Marauder. That one's getting hit. So there's enemies down there, and we're just chilling up here, waiting. With the ambush force, basically. And if they all get taken out, we get a new wave. It's not cheesing. It's called reviewing level design. Yes. When you say something about a backup lance near the end, that's when you start showing up. Exactly. So when they get down to one mech... I think they'll get reinforcements. So I can even just cheese it by taking out these as they come in. There you go. Much easier, much safer.
it's only going to get a problem when we get to defending this drop ship. See, 1 minute 17 seconds and we're looking good so far. Oh. Who's shooting? By the way, these are meant to have... These are meant to have turrets right here, but the, they've taken them out to make this mission harder. Which I think is a bit unfair, wouldn't you say? There you go, some more allied forces. They've got enough, they're holding. Why the turrets use their giant defensive weapons? I, this is I don't know. There should be stuff there. They should be firing them. And if I make it through from just standing up here, it's going to be hilarious. But this guy is going now. He's igniting himself. Gone. Dropship Titan ascending out. Fall back to Dropship Falcon. Keep up the fight. I'm not fighting. I'm just chilling. But it's stupid. Make sure they get out by sacrificing every one of me. Actually gonna have to fight now, that's the thing. There's no other way around it. What am I? They're fighting all the way down there. They might hold off the enemies down there for the two minutes and something. Six eighty fives. Six LRM twenties, twelve machine gun. Say they didn't pay you your hazard pay. Apparently not. I mean, they have a battle master and a Highlander holding off back everything back down there, and they're doing perfect. Look at them. I'm not even having to do anything right here. Yes. Yeah. There's meant to be a crazy amount of weapon systems, and to be fair. When in the modded stuff, it's uh, ERP PCs and Gauss rifles. And so they generally will wreck whatever is being shot at them by. This does feel really bad, I'd like to point out. The Highlander's not really taking any damage, by the way. The Battlemaster is taking some damage, but currently, no one's shooting them because they're not flashing. So we just... They should also be, like, able to carry 12 mechs each? Yes. Yeah, they're... they're they carry an entire company. Scary taking on four flyers at once. Threat alert. Incoming irregular and alliance forces oh, are pushing the battle zone. Try to keep them isolated to your front, Commander. They're goddamn relentless. You need to buy us more time. Twelve seconds is all I need. I'd like to point out. Oh, I was in the extraction point. You got my respect. Ah, that's hilarious. 
Ah, oh, I didn't even realize that. I'm rank 9, yay! 5.5 million Z bills for not doing much at all. I'll take the locust because I can trade that in. And. I'll take you for some money. I've got three picks for that. And that. That was a tough fight. That was a really tough fight. It is. Ooh, a battle master. With an LBX. Solid. Nice. And some very high tier weapon systems. Nice. And Shintaro Abi. He's not as good as some of the pilots, but he's a pilot that we probably need. And 3 million Z bills. That was a damn fine job. That was. I sat on top of a hill and waited. And that's it. I didn't actually fight. Didn't really fight. Didn't do anything at all. If not for you, the fifth would be dust particles. You fought like one of us out there. Technically, I did. You're running away from the fight. I ran away from the fight and hid at the back and let other people do the hard work. Good reward, though. That battle master seems kind of useful. Yeah, it would have been very useful in that fight. Fighting. Uh, I would take you under my command any day, but my last act as your CO... I am offering you up some serious combat bonuses. God knows you earned them. Make sure you rest up and repair. I know your contract is ongoing, so you'll need any R&R &R you can get. Just remember that I told you, don't let the Combine handcuff you to them forever. Good luck. The uh, dropship sound is still going. Unfortunately, I can't do too much about that. Uh, I got a light rifle. It's in both ears now. Kill missile carriers, medium laser tier one. Uh, it just seems pointless when we get tier five weapon systems. Oh, it's gone. It's back. No, that's still loud as hell. Bug found? Exactly. I don't like finding bugs. It's loud and scary. Uh, collect one cicada, kill three Jenners. We get there. That's half decent. Small chem laser. Kill 15 warriors. We killed about that, and that's all we killed in the previous fight. Uh, fine, we'll take both of those. Oh, Jesus, look at the mechs. Look at them. It's actually got some decent weapon systems on. Oh, oh, hang on a second. We're out of the fight at the moment 69 days ah so we got to wait 69 days okay perfect number talking about bugs i tell you to collect a cicada <laughs> yeah all right we're getting rid of you we don't need you anymore that's three million c bills uh let's take a look at you uh single heat sinks damn it i was kind of hoping the SS had double heat sinks. Fine, we will. Oh, it's a Thunderbolt. Do we keep a Thunderbolt around? We're definitely keeping you around. Do we keep a Wolverine around? These weapon systems are actually half decent, so. Gonna take them out. And then I think with a rework, this is going to be better. So, ooh, we don't have the hand slots. Fine. Okay, so we'll give it a large laser. 
and then we might as well stick a small laser in there and a better SRM6 We've got two and a half tons to play with. Armor is maxed. Good. So we give it. Half a bin of ammo. And then. Some more single heat sinks. Done. 68 days. Are we ready before we get to the next place? Head, RC, head armor seems half. That's fine on a mech like that because it won't generally get shot in the head too much. Uh, otherwise, yeah, you didn't get shot in the head all that much. Good. Ah, you need to be corrected. So... And drop those for large lasers. A couple of large pulses actually looks good. And a better SRM. Actually, let's drop those. Half machine gun ammo. And then max out the armor there. Yeah, head armor's fine there. done 41 days Tintaro kind of just needs that to be another SRM drop that drop that for Give you medium lasers. Uh, single heat sink in the engine. Ammo goes there. Max the armor. You clearly have endo or ferro because you can't get a full thing okay the noise is annoying me let's give you a bit more cooling half a bin of ammo done panther it's just a panther we'll keep it as it is you what do you look like how much ammo jesus four bins of Seven bins of ammo. Jesus Christ. Let's uh, drop some of that. And... Some of that. We're maxed apart from the head armor. So I'm thinking more cooling.
Yeah. Bit more cooling. Uh, cooling of two. That's terrible. So clearly no double heatsink. Actually, no. It probably is a double heatsink kit. It just doesn't sh show up here for what a double heatsink kit does. Six medium lasers and a PVC. That cooling will be good for it. It will be. It'll be very good for it. So that stay like so. And yeah, we just need to sell you once we get there. But we will get there. Sort the PPC for medium laser. No, I think that it could work. I think it'll be okay as it is. I think there's enough cooling as it is. I want a little bit of range with some of the mechs because like in that last fight, I was expecting the enemies to actually get through the allies and we were going to have to snipe them a fair bit. But... We didn't, so, or they didn't, so we didn't have to do anything. But, yeah, six medium lasers. Did the PPC have the same benefits? Yeah, you do get the distortion, the uh, jamming kind of thing, because when I get hit by them, or, or even when I fire my own PPC, everything goes a bit blurry for a moment. So, all by the catapult will be ready by the next mission, basically, which is brilliant. Uh, we've got 14 million sea bills still to play with, so let's see if there's anything we want to pick up. I'm thinking anything that's tier 3 is worth picking up if I want it. I mean, there's a large. Uh, actually, that medium laser might come in handy. Small lasers, not so much. Flamers, definitely not. LRM-20. Possibly. 1.5 million C-bills. Because it's a rare item, it's more expensive. So I think I'll leave it, actually. Yeah, let's take a bit more of that. Care about that. SRM Artemis. Take a couple of bins of it. But yeah, I think we're good. And yeah, we will be. I will be back. Uh, what, what day did I put down? I think Sunday. Sunday for some more Mech Warrior 5. We'll probably complete the campaign uh, Sunday with the next stream. So I think we're about halfway through. I don't know how many missions exactly I've done. But we've probably done about seven, maybe eight missions. I think it's seven that we've done. So, we're looking pretty good. And I'll accept that. Operation Nodo. Yeah, I'll accept that. And yeah, we've got the Kestrel Lance, the Rise of Russell Clark, and the Crimson Crusade that we can do if we wanted to. Um, but at the moment, I can't because I'm in the middle of this campaign and I can't. I don't want to cancel it because obviously it's a new DLC. We don't want to cancel it just yet. We want to win it. We want to kill. We want to do everything and be amazing. And yes, thank you all for watching. It has been amazing. We got a little bit of a um, sticky situation at the end there. But ultimately, we, we um, kind of cheesed it, didn't we? Basically, we cheesed it. And we got the job done. But anyway... That's sometimes what's needed to be done. But So thank you all for watching. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoy the series, uh, the DLC. If you have found out some other ways to do missions better, then put it in the comment field and let people know because these missions can be hard and they can be a challenge. And obviously, we want people to have fun with them, not get annoyed with them, like I did for a little moment. And then we cheesed it. Uh, yes, thank you all. Catch you all on Discord. Join the Discord. Join the. Have some fun there. And join the shenanigans that goes on there. And I will see you uh, Saturday for some Rogue Tech, where hopefully, maybe, we'll look at doing some flashpoints if they're around us. And then, yeah, we'll finish up this campaign on Sunday. We'll have it all done. And then we'll see you when we get the longbow. 
Although we have got a longbow, I don't know how good it's going to be. We'll have to find out. But anyway, good night, have fun, and I'll see you next time for some more mech destruction.